Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. We're here with another video on gymnastic psychology. I'm with Wendy Martin. She was an Olympian in the 92 Olympics. Uh, they earned a team bronze. And we're continuing our series to talk about perfectionism in gymnastics. Today, Wendy, I'd like to talk a little bit more about that concept of gymnasts spend their whole year virtually training for very few competitions, which is unlike a lot of other sports where they're training and then they're competing on the, every weekend. So often gymnasts get stuck in this practice mindset or this training mindset where they're continually trying to improve their skills even when they go and they compete. So what's that all about and how are they getting trapped in that practice mindset? Um. In gymnastics, we spend um, most of the, you know, every every practice pretty much trying to get our skills, you know, higher and straighter and tighter and stronger. And even the weeks leading up to the competition, um, you know, we're we're giving little corrections by our coaches to tweak, you know, things and make them, you know, nice and pretty and you know have as less, uh, you know, minimal deductions as possible. But what they sometimes don't understand is when you get into a competition and you get into you know a pressure situation, you're always going to you know kind of resort back to what you you know what your your habits or you know what your what you've been training for, and so you can't really go into a competition and keep trying to improve um, because you're 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 going to just do what you've been training a couple weeks ago. So, you know, a gymnast sometimes will go into competition and they'll see somebody do something higher or better or stronger and so they'll try to change it and you, and you can't change what, you, what you've been working on because, um, you know, you have your timing, you have, you have your routine, you have you, your body and your muscles have kind of this routine that they've been going through it and so you, you can't keep changing it because you, you, you can't throw a new skill. Well, yeah, and you're working for months on your routines, right? right? You can't make those last minute changes, I would think. Yeah, I think that they try so hard to try to make it better be because it's a competition and they know how important it is and they know how much pressure and, and you know, like you said, we only get a couple competitions a year. But, you know, if, if once you are out of training, you have to get into competition and performance mindset. You have to just you know, do do what you've been trained or do what you've been trained to do. You can't continue training because it just won't work. So, how do you transition uh, for those gymnasts that are stuck in that practice mindset? How do you transition them into the competitive mindset, or what we also call the um, trusting mindset? How do you get them to stop all the analysis and the learning and start trusting what they need to do in competition? It really needs to start a couple weeks before competition. Um, where the, the gymnast just needs to be, you know, kind of start simulating um, competitions. They need to have um, what we call pressure sets where maybe the whole gym stops and watches them. Um, and they, they just kind of perform. They get into their mental choreography. They start to do their pre-routine um, routine where they, you know, they go through the routine on the floor. They'll do, um, you know, maybe their, they'll do their mental choreography with their arm sets. Um, and they, they get more into just kind of pre preparing for competition. Um, you know, you're not going to learn anything drastic the week before a competition. Um, so you need to just rely on, on you know, muscle memory, um, you, like I said, your mental choreography to just kind of get in that routine. So when you are in competition, you can just kind of revort, resort, revort. <laughs> I messed up. Revert. Revert. <laughs> Back to what you, you know, training. So. Um, and I think also there needs to be a transition. I tell my athletes that, look, when you get into that warm up before the competition, you have to understand that all my practice is complete. Yes. I'm done with the practice. Now I just got to go out and throw my skills the way I've trained to throw my skills. So what would you tell your gymnast, like right before the competition? to let go of all that training so they can just go compete. Yeah, perfectionists have a really hard time being able to just let go. Um, and, and most of the time what we tell them is the same thing, is that all the training is done weeks before the competition. So you, you have to just, just trust your practice. And you know if they're worried about not being right in, in competition, then they need to go back to practice the next time and make sure that they train the way they want to compete. 
And I would assume simplifying that mental choreography, in other words, you give a very simple choreography, mm -hmm. can help them be able to just, just perform on memory. Yeah, we do, the mental choreography we do are mostly just cues or reminders just to kind of keep the mind busy. Um, they're not really corrections or things that they need to change in competition. It's just, you know, it's the same mental routine as the physical routine and it's mostly just to keep the mind busy. But yeah, the, the cues are very simple and they're very, they're very short cues for each of the skills. Great. Thank you for your tips today, Wendy. I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Wendy Bruce. If you want more information about how to improve your mental toughness in gymnastics, check out gymnasticsmentalcoach.com. We have lots of great articles there to improve your mental game and beyond. Thanks. Thank you.